morning. It is another work day and of course I am running late. I have to blow dry my hair. I have to do something with my face. I probably won't have time to do like a full full face. So I'm just going to put some tinted moisturizer on and some concealer and then call that a look. And then I'll show you guys my outfit hopefully before I leave. This is what I'm gonna wear today. My hair looks terrible because I did not have enough time to blow dry it completely. Um, but this top is a blouse from, I don't remember, I feel like maybe Forever 21. Pants are from Uniqlo and then I haven't put on shoes yet, but it is winter. So I'm probably gonna wear winter boots out the door and then switch into a pair of black heels when I get to work. Hi, I'm home from work. I just changed. I had a little bit to eat, but the bone, I have to do some errands. We're gonna go to Costco. What else do I need to do? Mm. Oh, I wanna go to Shopper's Drug Mart. I'm just gearing up for <laughs> outdoor weather. It's actually um, not snowing out, but it is pretty chilly. Looks good. We are currently at Costco, so we got everything that we needed. Now we're just kind of walking around, seeing if we can find a gift, because the boat has to bring a gift to a work gift exchange so I voted on a huge container of shortbread but we'll see Ugh, look how good these look look how high-tech this cash register is <laughs> this one's pretty fun too <laughs> well, what did you find What is it? Holes. Boring. Mugs. Mugs, I guess, are cute. Oh, they have lids on them. Yeah. They're pretty. Are they pretty? I guess everyone likes bowls with lids. We're home, and I stopped by Shopper's Drug Mart on the way home, and I'm going to show you guys two things that I picked up. Little public service announcement, but until the end of the week, so until I feel like Friday, they are having 20% off um, all of the Indeed Labs products and you get 10,000 bonus optimum points if you buy two or more products. But if you are planning on buying two or more, like four, I would suggest splitting those purchases because you only get 10,000 points for a minimum of two. So it doesn't matter if you're getting 10 or two you only get 10,000 points. So if you're gonna get four, you might as well split up those purchases and then you can get 20,000 points. But before I do my nighttime routine, we're gonna open up another day in the advent calendar. So day number five. Okay, day number five. What are you? Ooh, it's another bear. Was the bear you had hollow or did it have filling? It had a white filling. Okay, splitsies. I think I would have preferred it if it had a filling. We're in the bathroom now, so I'm going to get ready for bed, which means it's time to do the nighttime routine. One of the um, suggestions in, I think, my very first Vlogmas video was to share with you guys my nighttime and morning skincare routine. So I'm going to do this maybe a couple times throughout Vlogmas because my routine changes depending on how my skin is. Um, so right now I have only really one active breakout right here. So uh, what I would do today would be different from when I have no active breakouts. Before I show you guys today's routine, I just wanted to talk about the two products I picked up from Indie Labs at Shoppers. So one is the Eye Slick. So this is a repurchase because I'm almost out of my original tube of it and I really like it for a nighttime um, eye cream so excited to have that to back in my life and then I also picked up the squalane oil so I do have a squalane oil from the ordinary and I am almost through it as you can maybe see it's really hard to tell but I have maybe a full dropper and a half of it left, so I'm almost done that, so I thought I would try this one. Back to skincare, I'm going to talk about products very quickly, I don't want this to take 
all evening but I start with a double cleanse as you guys know so I rotate through a couple of different cleansers usually always a cleansing oil for the first cleanse which is the DHC deep cleansing oil I am almost through this I am not sure which one I'm going to purchase next I'm thinking I might go back to the L'Occitane one and then for a second cleanse I will either use the milky jelly cleanser um, lately I've been kind of gravitating more towards this I also have the CeraVe hydrating cleanser which um, I also like because it's really gentle I also like to use this mainly in the morning and then another product that is new to me is this whip soap from snail white so my ninang um gave this to me so when we were in california um i met up with her and she gave this to me to try my mom actually i feel like my mom probably told her to buy this for me because my mom had heard about this and she said it was good soap i'm not entirely sure what it's supposed to do because the back is not in English except for some of the ingredients that I can read uh, but on the front it says a delicate net to form a soft and central whip foam smooth whip foam that gives you glowing and nourished skin I just find that it's actually quite nice even though it does foam up it doesn't leave my skin feeling really taut and dry <laughs> I'm going to do a mask tonight because like I said, I have a couple of breakouts, like this one's really throbbing. I didn't get a chance to do a mask on the weekend, which is when I really like to um, do lots and lots of different masks, not even multi-masking, but like using masks consecutively. But I didn't really get any time to because I was at the course and I was just too tired by the time I got home. So I'm going to apply some of this um, moon mask. Mega, sorry, Mega Greens Galaxy Pack Mask from Glossier and just put that all over and then I'm going to take some of the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask and put it on the top half of my face. So I'm going to wait 20 minutes for this to dry slash soak in and then I will carry on with my nighttime routine. This is what the boat ended up picking up from Costco as a gift. So I'm gonna wrap it for him because he has to bring it to work tomorrow. Okay, so now that I have let the masks um, sink in and dry up, I'm going to take this muslin cloth and um, just wipe the masks off. I don't usually rinse my face after um, having these masks on. I just like to use some sort of damp cloth to wipe them off. Gently though, because, you know. My battery died, um, but I just spritzed my face with some of this Glossier Soothing Face Mist. It's a rose water spray. I don't find it to be particularly life changing. I also put my little headband on because my hair was just kind of falling down in lots of different places. So this is just to help it keep it in place. Today I'm going to be using the Differin Gel. So I've been using this nightly, um, most nights. And I just basically put a thin layer all over and just blend that in. So while that is absorbing, I will floss, um, which I'm going to do off camera because watching someone floss is super gross. Okay, having flossed and allowed the different gel to absorb into the skin, I am going to just um, put some hydrators on top of it. So I'm going to put a bit of the Neod molecular, multi-molecular hyaluronic complex. It's essentially hyaluronic acid. I am almost through this bottle and I'm not going to be repurchasing it because while I like the consistency, I don't really love the scent of it. Like it, I don't know, just not, not a fan. I'm also going to try the new um, Squalane facial oil that I picked up from Indeed Labs. Nice consistency, just gonna do a couple of drops here. Okay. 
I'm also gonna do a couple drops of the Sunday Riley Juno oil because I like to layer my oils. I'm not gonna do a heavy moisturizer. Sometimes I'll alternate oils and moisturizers. Sometimes I'll actually layer them. I'm using the Isilix eye cream for under the eyes. And then I'm gonna apply a little bit more of the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask because I wiped quite a bit of it off. Lastly, part of my nighttime routine is to do um, like a hair treatment. So I'm gonna put a bit of the Ordinary Multipeptide Serum for hair density just at the roots. I do this on the nights where I know for sure I'm gonna be washing my hair the next day. My camera stopped recording, but as I was saying, um, this hair oil does not leave my hair feeling greasy the next day, but it does have a pretty strong kind of fermented yeast scent to it. So if you've ever been to like a brewery or if you, I don't know, have ever smelt beer, <laughs> It has that kind of scent to it, so it's very off-putting sometimes. I forgot to spot treat, so I'm just gonna do that quickly. Just wherever I have a little bump. I actually don't have too many spots. In case you're wondering what I'm using, I'm using this acne solution acne spot corrector gel from Celatec. I'm not sure where you can get this from. Uh, my Ninang brought this back for me um, from the Philippines, so I'm just trying it out. I'm pretty sure it's uh, the active ingredient in here is also benzoyl peroxide. Okay, that is my nighttime skincare routine for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I will be doing a morning skincare routine, but it will have to be on a morning where I'm not rushing out the door to get to work because I'm always running late as it is, so I won't have time in the mornings on the weekday, but I will be doing that. Before you guys leave, you'll have to let me know what your favorite nighttime skincare product is. I'd love to hear it. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.